It's umsum time. Why can't birds fly in space? They want to, but I keep on bringing them back. What? Oh, I'm some. How birds fly can be best explained using Bernoulli's mm. principle. Wings of the birds play a major role in this. The shape of their wings causes air to move much faster oh. above their wings as compared to the air huh? moving below their wings. This difference in air pressure pushes up on their wings, creating a lift, thus allowing a bird to fly. Also, definition of to fly is to move in or pass through air with wings. Now, space is a vacuum. It has no air. Thus, without air, a bird will not be able to fly. Finally, even if birds were able to fly in space, they will not be able to swallow food. Why? Because birds depend on gravity to push their food downwards. Why do birds crash into windows? Because they don't ring bells and walk through doors. Oh, um, so. It is estimated that close to a billion birds crash into windows and die in the U.S. each year. Firstly, researchers believe that just like humans, even birds are not able to see transparent glass. Humans can anticipate the presence of transparent glass based on some visual clues like frames or knobs. Oh but birds lack the ability to do so. Secondly, it is believed that collisions occur more frequently during breeding season, as birds, after seeing their own reflection in the window, misjudge it for a different bird and attack it. Lastly, it is also believed that birds perceive the reflected images in the glass to be real objects. Hence, collisions occur more often when glasses reflect images of food or shelter. Why don't birds get electrocuted on power cables? Because they wear shockproof shoes. <laughs> now, electricity is the flow of electrons through conductors. It always takes the easiest route. That is, electricity always flows through a path of least resistance. Now, the power cables through which electricity flows are made of copper. Copper offers the least resistance and is a very good conductor of electricity. However, the bird's body offers greater resistance and is not a good conductor as copper. Hence, electricity ignores the bird and flows through the cables and birds don't get electrocuted. Besides this, electricity flows from its highest potential to its lowest. Now, the power cables usually run at different potentials. If birds feed are on the same power cable, then they are at same potential. Thus, the bird doesn't get electrocuted. However, when the bird touches two cables with different potentials at the same time, then electricity will flow through the bird to go to the other cable with a lower potential and the bird will get electrocuted. How do migratory mm. birds find their way? With the help of GPS. <laughs> no. Every year, many migratory huh? birds fly thousands of kilometers ah. to find food, to avoid extreme <laughs> weather, etc. But researchers don't know how these birds find their way and travel to the same location year after year. However, an observation suggests that migratory birds can detect the Earth's magnetic field lines that appear to emerge from South Pole and merge into North Pole. When migratory birds have to travel from North to South, or <laughs> vice versa, they align themselves with the magnetic field lines and travel to their location. Along with this, migratory birds may also find their way by creating oh. a mental map of their route using mountains, ah. rivers, etc. Mm. Besides this, it is also believed that migratory birds use the location oh. of the sun and stars to find their way and reach the same location. <laughs> Why do birds fly in V formation? Because V is for victory. Oh, <laughs> dude. Flocks of birds like geese and pelicans fly in V formations to make flight easier. In V formations, when a bird flaps its wings, the air behind the bird gets pushed downward, creating a down wash, while the air towards its sides gets pushed upward, creating an up wash. This produces rotating vortices. If another bird flies in these upwash zones, it gets a free lift and glides due to reduced air resistance. Thus, birds are able to fly long distances without putting much effort and maintaining a clear line of sight. 
Besides this, since the bird in the lead faces greater air resistance, the birds keep changing their positions in the V and take turns as leaders. This maximizes the use of each bird's energy, allowing flocks to fly without having to stop. 